Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for this quick natural hair banding tutorial. This was requested by some of my subscribers a couple of months ago when I took down my bands in a chit chat get ready with me and some of you wanted a more in-depth tutorial. So this one's for you, here we go. So for this tutorial you'll need hair bands, rubber bands, and a comb is optional if you prefer finger detangling. We're going to make six sections all over my head, three on each half of my head, and right here I'm just sectioning off the piece that I'm starting off with and putting away the rest of my hair so nothing gets in the way. Right now, this is where you will use your comb or finger to tangle as I am doing here. I'm applying a little bit of my favorite leave-in conditioner just to soften up my hair a bit and my hair felt a little bit dry. And now we start the hair banding process. You just grab a hair band, place it at the base of your ponytail, and all you have to do is continue to double the hair band along the length of your hair. For each section of my hair, it will probably take about three to four hair bands to complete the length of my hair. And as for the ends, I use rubber bands. So as you can see on the ends, I'm placing more of my favorite leave-in conditioner because it was dry. And I am twisting the ends now and placing a tiny rubber band along the ends of my hair. It'll probably take about two to three tiny hair bands to finish the rest of my hair. That's one section down, five more to go. It's 1 a.m., we're tired, I'm sleepy, let's just speed this up a little bit right now. Voila! And here's the finished product. There's six sections across my head. All I do now is put on my do-rag, wash my face, and go to bed. So it's the next day or maybe two days later, and as you can see, I'm undoing the band. And I'm also unraveling the twist at the end of each section. And then I begin separating my hair completely. Each section is separated to the mat. And that's what it would look like with a bit of separation. And now all I have to do is continue separating and fluff until I get my desired width. This style just requires a lot of like fluffing and teasing, digging at the roots until you get what you want. And now we're dancing and we're done. And the hair looks good and we finally look good on camera because we was looking busted the whole tutorial. That's the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them all in the comment section. I will be replying. And if you have anything you'd like to see next, also let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye.